Hello children and non-children. <laughs> Today I'm going to be trying out these six dollar color pencils from Michaels. So they're called Artists Loft and in the front I put like all the basic colors that are like dark. I mean I mean if it will focus. They're like boring colors, so I mean I do see a pink in there and the front of the package is almost open. Uh, most of them are like that. But I just grabbed this one and yeah, I did take off the little tag that was right here. It said drawing. And it says black, blue, violet, bright green, carmine, cherry red, clay yellow, dark blue, dark brown, dark pink, dark green, dark emerald green, gold, golden yellow, uh, gray, Ivory, ivory, yellow, lavender, lemon, yellow, light blue, light brown, light orange, light violet, light yellow, medium brown, ocean blue, olive, orange, pastel pink, pink, brown, red brown, silver, spring bud, vermilion, white, yellow green, yellow, ochre, ochre, what was I gonna call it, ochre. Now I do have the paper for it, I just took it out, cause it was annoying me. Um, I'll grab it real quick for you guys. I right, here it is. I accidentally, well, my little broker got a hold of it, so it's a bit crumpled, but it says artist soft, and it says set up. Some things we suggest before starting a drawing or sketching paper, table, or easel to work on, a vinyl eraser, sketching pencil, pencil sharpener, colorless blender, and a color wheel. Uh, color wheel, I don't know why we need that. Whoa, whoa, this is a lot for just pencils. Look at this. <laughs> okay. Um, well, tips and techniques before getting started. It's always best to have an initial sketch, whatever. The way you hold a color pencil, the pen can have a big impact on the results. Reading right here. You can read that. Just pause it and read it if you want to. You know me. So here's the first one. You can screenshot it and read it or pause it. I just don't have the time to read it all. I wanna get to get this video done. Also, I don't have school today, so that's awesome. Well, it's kind of a cool picture. <laughs> And then over here, drawing techniques, cross-hatching, liner, smooth, and scrumbling. They just do <laughs> Okay. Oof. Now, water battle. <laughs> anyway, so the two items I have of choice, pencils and sketch pad. Yes, I got new pencils and new sketch pad. Are these paper castell graphite sketch set. These are awesome. I highly recommend them. And, uh, Sunny Paws, this was a recommendation by you, so, Jasmine, I do like it. It looks like pretty good paper, so, I did a couple pages already, I don't know what. And, those are just with some other pencils, but, we can get started. I'm not sure what I want to draw. Um, uh, let's think, maybe... I don't really know. Uh, maybe like. Um, I'll just draw my OC, cause why not? Fancy. Oops. Alright, so. Comes with. Uh, these pencils and an eraser and the thing, so got some good things going on. Um, let me just test out 2H because I kind of forgot what it is. Yeah, I think I'll use it. So we have a 2H paper castell eraser, not using the sharpener. Put the rest of these back, and I will set them to the side. Alright, now I need to get to sketching our ideal design. So, 
I wish I could time lapse it. I don't. I'll probably download an app for that. But let me just kind of get the ideal shape of her head. I'm just gonna do the head for now, cause if I did the rest, that would take too long. Okay. Okay. That's what we have so far. <laughs> Sorry for the random stuffed animals in the background. I didn't have a background to put up, so... Yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> okay, let me do her eye over here. A little winky face looks cute, I think. Her little muzzle. And we'll do an open mouth. And we'll just do the fur tuft. Okay, you can't really see her eye very well. Uh, this eraser is so smooth. Alright, so that's what I have. Let me fix her eye. Maybe put the head shape in a little more. Yeah, that's better. Okay. And we'll just add a little bit of detailing. And I'll just do this at the bottom because it looks like a cool design. There. And I need to add her little stomach. You know, I'll add her wings too. I just draw like basic wings for her because these aren't, don't even look like wings, I understand. But I just kind of like the way it looks. And they're like floating. Alright, there is my ideal sketch. Now we need to look at our pencils. So, for six dollars, keep that, uh, number in mind. Oh, these are actually some pretty good colors. If the color would focus, my camera is going crazy because of the other colors in the background. They look like there's some good colors in there. So, let me get the colors that we need for her. This lemon yellow looks about right. It's pretty good looking pencil. The tip looks fine. Um... Yeah, so, next color, we need, like, a light orange. Maybe this would work. I'll do some swatches, just to make sure. Um, or maybe this one. That's another yellow. See, that looks like orange to me. That literally looks like the color of the fur of this cactus. Uh, we need purple. This purple looks fine to me. Yeah. That's lavender. Um, we need green, no, we don't have her paws showing. We need blue for the tips of her hair, and we need a pink color. And we need a black. There is a black, I didn't even know if there was. I mean, there's gotta be, though. Here's a black. We have a nice sharpened black, and just to blend all the colors, I usually use a white pencil. I do have a tertillion, but it's missing. <laughs> um, I think that's everything I need. I'll get some of this red color for blush, and I think that's everything. So, I mean, just looking at these pencils, they look pretty nice for $6. I mean, $6 for 36 pencils, that look decent. No, that's good. Alright, let's do some swatches. Let me just find a page that I will use. I'll just use this one. I did do a couple swatches already, sorry. So, there's the swatches. They look really nice and pretty vibrant, except all the little dots of that space. If you press down, they're still going to be there. I'm pressing down pretty hard. And it's the pigment is pretty good. I mean, considering that this is basically the lightest blue. And that, that is the darkest. They do have some pretty good pigments. And I blend it over here. Um, they look pretty nice. So I'm really excited to try them. Now let's go to our art. 
and we'll try and do it just just remember that I am not the best at coloring so they do draw very smoothly like it feels like you're using a jelly roll honestly which I don't have a jelly roll but my friend had like a red one and it was really nice all right that is pretty okay it looks as if like i'm not an expert on pencils but prisma colors i prefer rather than these already and i kind of prefer favor castells over prisma colors i am sorry prisma color best friends of prisma colors i guess i don't really know how to word that this video is already 10 minutes long why i do not know okay now gonna fill in her little nose and I think I'll get back once I finish this okay I just wanted to show you guys I tried adding some texture and it just looks really kind of crappy and weird but I'm gonna keep going anyway <laughs> I do have to say that the orangish yellow color is pretty decent this golden yellow I really like it so, I mean, I think I'm going to keep using these pencils. They're pretty good. So, I like the only ones I have right now. I do have a prism color set, but they're all pretty damaged. Um, I can grab them and I will compare the two. I feel like that would be fun. And I just don't think I'm going to finish this. If I do, I'll post a video showing you guys. So, let me open up to another page. I'll just do it on the back. So, we're going to compare this prism color scholar pencil. It's called Permanent Blue, 303, that's the code. We're going to compare this one to this one, which is the closest match I could find. It's just light blue or just soft. So, here goes the Prisma color. Very, very, very vibrant. Amazing. <laughs> Pretty smooth very good pencils. I recommend those as well. And here's the Artist Soft Fundamental. And I'll try and blue them, blend them too. Well, it's actually pretty comparisonable. I would say that this one looks a bit like weird, but hold on, let me see if there's like a better blue. Maybe this one, I'm not sure. I'm just going to test out a couple blues. Yeah, this is the right color, so just ignore that one for now. And then just compare these two. This one and this one, just get rid of that one. They look very similar, which is almost very shocking. I mean, like, if you compare that. Dang. <laughs> I will say that this one looks a little bit cheaper, and this one looks a little bit more pricey, but if you draw on top of it, the camera is not playing tricks on your eyes. There's nothing there. You do on the other one. There is nothing there either. So, there you go. These, I would say, are cash. I mean, for $6, you're getting some pretty good pencils. And a little thing, how to draw them. And if, they're, if they can compare to Prismacolors, they're, they're good pencils. I mean, I'm telling you that, so... And once again, I'm no expert, but yeah. <laughs> Bye, everybody.